What is up YouTube? It's your girl Evelyn and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. Give me, give me more, give me, give me Everyone knows that finding deep, true, and lasting love can be difficult if not impossible. Love. Alive. So why not go on a chaotic reality dating show and make it even more difficult? I'm Lexi, and let's just be honest, my dating life kind of sucks. Sure, Jan. It's gonna be a wild ride. Guys, girls, you both have a chance to win Lexi's heart. In less than a year, we've gone from having no queer reality dating shows to having three. Noise. And the latest is Love Always, a Gen Z reality dating show starring Lexi Paloma, a pansexual bachelorette looking for love. The first three episodes of Love Always will be dropping June 2nd on Paramount+. Plus. Can you pull the curtains, let me see the sun? If you watched my most anticipated releases of 2023 video, then you might remember Blue Jean, a period film set in the 80s about a closeted gym teacher whose closet is threatened by the arrival of a new student at her school. So what do you do, Jean? I'm a teacher. Fantastic. What do you teach? P. Lois, come on in. Here at home, there's been another big demonstration against Clause 28, which seeks to stop councils from promoting homosexuality. <laughs> After a festival run full of critical praise, award nominations, and multiple wins, Blue Jean is finally being released in the US in limited theaters on June 9th. This is the one of my favorite movies of all time has to be Groundhog Day. I am a basic bitch. In fact, the only way I could love Groundhog Day more is if the main characters were lesbians. Now, I'm not saying Jagged Mind is a lesbian Groundhog Day, but it is about a lesbian stuck in a time loop, which is close enough for me. Billy, the film's main character, begins experiencing blackouts and strange visions. And although she's unsure of the cause, they just might be related to her new girlfriend, Alex. Now, as of the making of this video, the trailer for Jagged Mind has yet to drop, but you can watch Jagged Mind June 15th on Hulu. <laughs> Silver Haze is a gritty drama about a nurse who falls in love with one of her patients. Frankie, the nurse, is a 23-year-old obsessed with getting revenge for a traumatic event that happened to her as a child. And the patient she falls for is Florence, a suicide survivor with an extensive list of mental health issues. What happened to you? I was in a fire when I was a kid. Why do you keep looking at me funny? You're beautiful. Now, I don't think this film is quite as dark as it seems, and the trailer very much gives bittersweet slice of life vibes. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you can catch the North American premiere of Silver Haze June 11th at the Tribeca Film Festival. Also, make sure to check out the pinned comment on this video for even more returning shows that may feature queer lady characters like Cruel Summer and Never Have I Ever. I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes. There's nothing I love more than a good old fashioned anthology series, and The Crowded Room is an anthology series. The first season is based on a true crime about a man, played by Tom Holland, who commits heinous, violent crimes against women. No thanks. As for the gay, the trailer for The Crowded Room features a quick clip of Sasha Lane making out with a lady. But even still, I can't imagine the show will be all that gay, especially considering Sasha is only in two of 10 episodes. He killed her, didn't he? You can catch the Crowded Room June 9th on Apple TV+. Set in 90s Sweden, Barracuda Queens is about a girl gang made up of upper class and very privileged teenagers who somehow get themselves into debt. So they decide to just start robbing bitches. Now, admittedly, there's nothing overtly gay in the trailer, but there is this slightly baity moment. All the boys and every girl too. At the very least, it's bisexual. Also, if I'm being honest, this one does ping my gaydar a little. A Lot. But even if the series isn't gay, it looks pretty damn entertaining. And you can stream Barracuda Queens June 5th on Netflix. Nimona is an animated film set in a futuristic medieval world, and it follows a knight who's being framed for a crime he didn't commit. But the only one who can save him is the shape-shifting creature he's sworn to destroy. So the graphic novel Nimona is based on is 
full of queer characters, including the main character, Nimona, who is gender non-conforming. So hopefully the film will be just as queer as its source material, and you can watch Nimona June 30th on Netflix. Exo Kitty is a brand new series spun off from Netflix's hit film trilogy, To All the Boys, and it turned out to be surprisingly queer. Now, I've never watched To All the Boys I've Loved Before or the other ones, but I can't imagine they are anywhere near as messy as Exo Kitty. Basically, the main character Kitty is a teenage matchmaker who of course knows everything there is to know about love. At least that's what she thinks when she moves to South Korea to be with her long distance boyfriend. But of course, things don't quite go to plan and Kitty finds herself attracted to someone else. It's a cute coming of age series with more love triangles than I could keep track of and it's currently streaming on Netflix. That is it for the video. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron, Christine. I also have to give a quick shout out to my big spender patrons, Angel, Citizen Ruth, Mary, Angie, JC, Lucia, Robert, and Maya. Hey. And just to let you guys know, I recently finished covering Yellow Jacket season two over on Patreon. So if you feel some type of way about season two, you might want to check it out. I also have a bunch of new content on the way, like my ultimatum queer love podcast, a review of You Can Live Forever, which will be dropping next week. And next month, I will be starting my Gap the Series series, along with a review of Dead Ringers somewhere along the way. And if you're at all interested, definitely consider joining. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't don't forget to let me know which shows and films you're most looking forward to and I'll see you in the next one.